Did you like how on every video people ask where you were? Yes. Also, and, and do you like on every video like, like you didn't explain at all <laughs> where the fuck I was? Yeah, I thought it was funny because Eleftherios and um and Chris say that they that they're you in every single video. And then people get confused. What happened to the other guy? Where, is he gone? <laughs> is he being replaced or fired? With Jungle Beats and. We want to talk about the uh, the fuckery that's been going on. <laughs> With Jay Z and Kanye West. Um, obviously, these two are some of the most iconic music artists in the world, and mm -hmm. they dropped one of my favorite projects, collab projects of all time, Watch the Throne. And over the last one to three years, they've had a lot of turmoil, a lot of uh, kind of conflict in and out of the media and now recently we just want to discuss the future of kanye west and jay-z within if there the, is one if, yeah, if there is one especially within their musical careers and whether they'll be a watch the throne too so how do you want to start this i feel like there's a lot of a lot of ways we could go talk about this i guess maybe starting with uh probably where our thoughts lie with what's happening now yeah okay the current let's stay current like current like currently we'll go into what led us up to these current thoughts but currently i personally think that jay-z isn't talking to kanye and i believe those reasons are to do with his recent affiliations with trump and not just like what happened with the photos and handshaking today i'm talking like back to when he had the cap on and tweeted that thing I reckon since that moment, Jay hasn't wanted to do wanted anything to do with Kanye. Honestly, I think it even goes back further to when Kanye West called out Jay and his family when he was on tour on stage. Mm. I don't know if you recall that. No, I do remember that. I think I honestly think that that was what started Jay being like, huh? Yeah. But he's still my brother, so you know, I'll you know I'll let it happen. But I think that after the the Trump stuff, he's like, nah, fuck yeah. Right. So then we get the line in the story of OJ before the Trump stuff happens, um, obviously about. Uh, gave 20 million, 20 minutes on stage. Fuck was you thinking? You remember that? Mm -hmm. He doesn't look like he remembers, but he's not in his head. <laughs> I don't remember it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> references line about Kanye and the money, the deal they made, and then the Trump stuff happens. And, and I don't blame Jay Z at all, but you know, where does this leave them in the future uh, musical collaboration? That's the question. Jeez, you okay there, bro? Yeah, you break right, your man. neck? You good? Break there? your neck! That's a good song. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's kind of constipated. <laughs> you good? Um, um, yeah. So, well, this is awkward. <laughs> Fuck, we've been, it's been a while. It's been a while, guys. It's been a while since we've been together. Shit, we would be rusty. So, for me, I think that the recently... Uh, Rumors, speculation that um, Jay Z and Beyonce are kind of um, someone close to them has leaked that they have been quite uh, appalled and disgusted by Kanye's um, recent teaming up with Trump. All the political shit that's been going on. He's now meeting with Trump once again, and which is fair enough in Jay Z's eyes. So, from if if that is anywhere near true in, in what's coming out in the media about Jay Z and Beyonce. And when their opinions of, of Kanye and them, then I don't expect Watch the Throw 2 to happen. Um, and I don't know why Kanye would tweet that, considering how Jay-Z hasn't even acknowledged Kanye mm -hmm. um, in, in the last one year since his album. This is kind of where the idea of this discussion sort of bloomed a bit more is because of what he's been tweeting about Watch the Throne 2. Like he tweeted just Watch the Throne 2 and mm -hmm. everyone got excited. But then since then, all these posters are all he's posted are just pictures of him and 6 ix 9 Takashi. Mm. Other Ooh. way around, but that's okay. What's that? Other, it's other way around, but that's okay. Um, Takashi 6 9 I don't know. Fuck that motherfucker. He's, dude, he's a p pedophile. That's all I gotta say. Convicted? I mean, so not convicted. Well, is this, um, I just want to clarify. Well, it's been, it's already, well, yeah, not convicted, but like, yes, he's had sex with underage women. Okay. And he's admitted to it. Let's continue. That's another story. That's another story. So for, but it's more that besides that, it's more the fact that Kanye has agreed to do something with someone where he's already done it with Jay-Z and he's pretty much disrespecting the fuck out of Jay-Z. If this is going to happen, because I, what I personally think you is You haven't that, actually said what you think is going to happen. Oh yeah, I personally think that uh, Kanye West is working on 6 9 He's working on 6 9 He's working with 6 9 <laughs> Damn. He's working with 6 9 <laughs> to make Watch the Throne 2. Right. That's my, that's my belief. 
I think this would be extremely disrespectful if it is, and I don't think it's right. I think you should just call it something else. Otherwise, fuck. I mean, I guess that the theme could work. Imagine a Watcher Tone 3 with Drake, and then a Watcher Tone 4 with someone else, and a Watcher Tone 5 no, with someone else. I don't think you could do that. I think the fact that he did it, if he did it with another artist that wasn't as influential as Jay Z, I think you could do that. Like a Drake. Say he did one with Big Sean, it'd be fine to make a Watcher Tone 2 with someone else. But the fact that he made it with Jay Z. Right. Nah, sets man. that bar especially because Jay-Z still is on the throne right if Jay-Z fell off the throne fair enough but he never fell off nah man I, I agree and so he, here's my thoughts on it and just to I, I went to see um, Jay-Z and Beyonce perform in Vancouver on On The Run 2 tour and I was, I was telling you before they don't know you ready? Oh, you told me right you niggas people who went to the Vancouver show will know and he, maybe he did this at the other shows when he performed Click and he has that line where he says good music Jay kind of muttered over that line and he didn't enunciate it and pronounce it uh, clearly or properly <laughs> I was I was listening carefully but in all the other songs where he references Ye and Kanye he says his name there's not many others but there's one or two but in Click he doesn't say good music properly so that makes me think that okay there's some there's still some bad blood in the water and unfortunately but and that may not be fucking with each other or jay may not be still fucking with him and his good music team still yeah i think that pretty much since the trump stuff jay-z just hasn't wanted anything to do with kanye and i i personally think that kanye hit jay-z up about what's thrown to because i really reckon that with the energy that he's had this year with the amount of music he's making the people is we're working with all of that. I think he was so excited that he thought, fuck yeah, I want to hit up Jay and make another album with him and ride this high. But I think Jay-Z just didn't respond and just doesn't give a fuck about Kanye right now. I think that's what led Kanye to do what he's doing now. I think he would have been like, fine, if Jay doesn't want to do what's throwing to, I'll find someone else to do it with. And that, I think that's, as I said to you before, that's fair enough because you're in your own right to yeah. do musically whatever you want. Yep. And this is strictly, ob honestly, observation. None of this, yeah. the way we're talking about it, is confirmed or anything. It's just us looking and trying to connect the dots we're just having a conversation about music and two artists that we love really yeah. um but if you if we take it back you know what i think i think these two artists have grown apart musically yeah. in their career personally well yeah when you look at it kanye's just really want to work a lot with the youth like he's still all about chicago in a way but he's all about working with a lot of these new school artists and a lot of the new waves and stuff like he's and he's, he's obviously changed his perspective on a lot of things and we look at Jay-Z and he's not really working with any new artists at all. He's but kind of sticking in his own lane. He is, but at the same time, I want to uh, mention, I watched Jay-Z's interview with David Letterman on the Netflix show and Jay-Z was uh, vocal about his appreciation for a lot of the new artists. He does listen to them. Mm. Um, and we know we still, I don't know how much new artists you want to talk about, but like he did work with Future um, and DJ Khaled on that collaboration uh, track. So I feel like he has... Every now and again, you might hear a feature that he does, but he's nowhere near as much as Kanye's doing. Mm. I feel like I don't know, maybe Jay Z's happy, like focusing more on his family or focusing more on other things outside 100%. of hip hop. That's why I think he's grown apart. Look at where they started. Mm. Kanye this is my big brother, right? You hear the song, Big Brother, right? Jay's my big brother. Jay Z's still kind of like finding fame and success. He's hitting it, but he hasn't really hit that upper echelon. Kanye's going with him. And I just feel like since then, they've come together and they've slowly grown apart. Watch the Throne brought them together then they came back apart. Jay-Z's now this... The way he carries himself, I think, is vastly different to Kanye. There's similarities, but the professionalism and the way Jay-Z communicates, how well-spoken he is and how, how thoughtful and considerate he is about his words. And it's really bizarre as well, because when you think about it also... They've both opened up where they never have before and have changed a lot since their last two previous albums. Like 444 was Jay opening up hugely and being vulnerable where he's never like been like that ever. Absolutely. Whereas Kanye's also done that with Ye and mm. also Kids See Ghost. So mm. they've both changed at the same time, but they've changed in 
totally different ways. That's a very interesting observation. That it's kind of very similar timing, right? It is very similar timing. Different kind of themes and topics, yeah. but maybe that change will help bring them back together by some kind of... It's really how relationships are. I, know, and downs. I, I honestly think the only way they're going to get back together is if Yeezy goes, on, goes off on Trump. I honestly think the Trump thing is what's keeping it from Jay. Because Jay's like, this man has been known to be a racist in the past. It's been proven. So why would I accept that? That's why BZ doesn't want to review his music. BZ wants to. He loves Kanye's music. Well, did love his music. And you know what, man? I'm one of, Kanye's one of my favorite artists. He's not the favorite artist. I was, for, for so many years, I've just been, you know, I would line up at his line, a fucking tour. I want to be first in line. But now the amount of fuckery that's associated with his name, it's really kind of got me kind of less enthusiastic about Kanye. It's harder to be a fan. Like Kendrick says on Sing About Me, he's like, when shit hits the fan, is you still a fan? Right. I'm still a fan, but it's making it harder to kind of be engaged with you. The big question is, if he releases Watch the Throne 2 and it's all with 6 9 are we going to review it? I don't see why not. I think mm -hmm. I would. Yeah. I, I feel like we would. I'm happy to do it as well, but and it's more the fact I need that... I to listen like, to it to hear what they craft. But like, even if it's a good album, would you still listen to it knowing that it's like a huge disrespect to Jay-Z? But do you feel like that listening to that music would be like you just disrespecting Jay? I don't... Hmm, that's, that's interesting. Okay. Because huh. I feel like... Well, look, does that mean millions of people who listen to it are disrespecting Jay by listening to it? I don't think listening to it is disrespecting him. I think we're just being musical listeners and, and like fans. I think our opinions of it will determine our level of respect or disrespect. That's a good point. Um, maybe, maybe Kanye will touch on a lot of things, hopefully lyrically in the album, to do with Jay. Because hmm. if you're going to do Watch Throne 2, you better be fucking... If he's not on the album, you better be at least talking about him. Yeah, you got to reference the... Uh, your... Uh, your superiors. But if we're going to get like 10 tracks of I Love It featuring Little Pump. <laughs> which I will admit, I've listened to a bit because it's catchy as fuck. It's, it is catchy as hell. And I think what they make, if whatever they're working on, Kanye and 6 9 it's going to be hit. It's going to be popular. It's going to be fun. Lighthearted. Kanye's in that yeah. mode right now. Also, I'm pretty sure 6 9 going to prison soon. Shit, so you better get all the music you can out around. I think that's what's happening. Is it really? I'm pretty sure he's going guys, to prison soon. Please, please uh, give Hot. some more details. What do you, how do you guys see the future of Jay-Z and Kanye West? Um, two of the most iconic uh, hip-hop artists of our generation. Um, I hope that they can mend their relationship because I think the potential is huge, not only for music, but for these two people can really help each other grow within business. They're two powerful icons. Um, but I understand if they don't want to at the same time. And I think mm. that's, you got to respect that. How are you feeling? <sighs> On the topic? Well, <laughs> ideally. <laughs> fucking on the topic. I feel like... I feel like <laughs> <laughs> no, fucking... What do you think of Mickey Mouse, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've said my piece. I've, okay. I, I honestly feel, as I've said, that uh, Kanye and Jay aren't talking. It's not good. It's bad blood between them at the moment. And I feel like the Kanye is working on what's throwing through that isn't involving Jay. That's just purely speculation, but that's honestly what I think is happening right now. And I think that if it does happen the way I'm thinking it, then it's going to fucking... I think it will go well for Kanye for the younger fans, but I feel like a lot of the old school heads, the people that have grown with him, are going to be mad, angry, and disrespected. Agreed. And you know what? Just to finish off, the more I see of Jay-Z, the, he, the more he's replacing what Kanye used to be for me. Mm. Kanye used to be this kind of icon of kind of like that I would look to in, in kind of amazement and awe and respect. Not to say I don't feel that same way in some ways. It's just harder. It's harder. Jay-Z's really becoming that icon for me, uh, that mentor figure. It's funny because I've had, this is very similar like with Lupe Fiasco for me. What do you guys, what do you guys think of the future of Jay-Z and Kanye West? Comment below. I want to hear uh, your thoughts. And if you are Jay-Z or Kanye, um, <laughs> then DM us. I don't know why. Leave your thoughts below. we Jungle Beats. Australia's plug to the worst conversations in the country. <laughs>